Welcome to Meet the Teacher Night. My name is Mr. Kozlowski and I am the fifth grade counselor. And I'm Mrs. Sullivan and I'm the sixth grade counselor. If you ever have any questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. We hope you guys enjoy the evening and we hope everyone has a wonderful school year. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Fall Creek Intermediate School and our annual Meet the Teacher Night. I'm Principal Randy Sheff, and we're excited that you're here to share in learning about what your students will be doing this school year. It's an important evening for the teachers and for parents because it's one time where we can start the year out learning how the class will operate, how to communicate, what your students will be doing, about expectations and procedures, so we're excited you're here. And we won't take a lot of time talking beforehand, but we want you to meet some of the important people your ch children will be interacting with throughout the year. At the end of this video, we will uh, show a short clip talking about our assessment practices and some of the reasoning behind it. That's one of the things you'll notice as you move to the intermediate school that we like to focus on students mastering concepts. We've moved to a standards-based report card, which you should be familiar with if your student attended uh, HSE in the elementary schools. But we want to make sure that our grades represent mastery of academic content and standards. So you'll see lots of formative assessment practices where they're not taken for a grade, but they let us know where the student is and what we still need to teach, and then our summative practices are taken for a grade. So we don't think it's appropriate to grade practice. We want the grade to reflect what the student has learned. And then if, if we're not making a mastery level, we have a commitment to reteaching and remediating and, and going back over that material. So you'll see some changes in practice perhaps from what you've experienced in the past, but pay close attention to the video at the end and it will uh, give you some information there. I want to introduce several people, you'll see them on the video, our related art staff and counselors, but next Mrs. Kim Day is our assistant principal and it's important that we all know how to communicate and stay informed about the practices here at, at school and I'm going to let her share a few ideas along those lines. Mrs. Day. Thank you, Mr. Chef. Good evening, Falcons. Welcome, and we'd like to just take a few minutes to talk about ways that we can communicate throughout the year. Two of those you've already taken a look at this summer. That would be the iPad handbook and the student handbook. We would just ask that you take a few minutes to sit down with your child and make sure that you both understand the expectations and procedures here at FCI. One thing that I'd like to point out related to iPads is, and communication, is that we'd like to make sure that your child is not texting or emailing home throughout the day. If they need something from home, they're not feeling well, there's some kind of concern, we wanna make sure that we handle that either through the office, through the teacher, through the nurse, so that we can make sure that everybody's safe, but also to make sure that we keep that educational focus throughout the day and we can seek out adults to help we also ask that in return that communication goes through the office from parents or guardians and not texting and emailing uh, your child so that they're not focused again throughout the day. Of course, there might be a time that a teacher does give them permission to do so, and that is absolutely fine. You might also be aware, especially if you're a fifth grade parent, that there are no hard copy planners this year. Our students use the calendar in Blackboard to keep up to date and communicate on assessments that are upcoming, items they need to practice, whatever that may be. Teachers daily post to that calendar and your child can also do some entries in there so that they can keep track of their own personal tasks such as basketball practice, go to the library with dad, interview mom from a project. So that calendar goes both ways, but definitely sit down with your child and have them give you a tour through Blackboard and make sure that they know, um, as well as you, how that calendar works. That's very crucial um, for the lives, academic lives of your child. 
Also, a few other ways to keep up with what's going on here at FCI would be via social media. You can like us at Fall Creek Intermediate Falcons on Facebook. No need to friend us. Just like us so you can keep up to date. We have a Twitter account, at FCI underscore Falcons, that you can also follow. There's lots of information that's sent out bi-monthly in the Falcon Flyer. It comes in a form of an application called a, the S'more, and you can view that on multiple devices. Additionally, we'd love to see you join the PTO and be involved. They meet every second Friday at 10 o'clock here at school, and that is a great way to keep up to date on things that are happening, to be a part of some decision making that happens with fundraising and such that goes on throughout the school year. Also on the FCI website, there is a PTO tab that gives you a list of the officers and upcoming events as well. We're off to a great start this year and can't wait to see what's in store for the Falcons. Now I'd like to introduce the Related Arts staff. At FCI, the Related Arts consists of art, PE, music, and library. You may recognize these by the name specials, but in HSE schools we refer to them as the Related Arts because these classes are directly linked to what your students are learning in the general classroom. We strive to engage your child in project-based activities that teach them life skills such as collaboration, self-control, determination, and responsibility, along with all of our state and national standards for our subjects. This is not like your specialist classes you had growing up. We are the Related Arts. We create, we engage, and we build character. Now it's time to meet your child's Related Arts team who works in conjunction with their classroom teachers to enhance your child's learning experience here at FCI. Hi, my name is Monica Spangler. I teach fifth and sixth grade general music as well as after school choir. I'm looking forward to working with your team this year. Hi, my name is Jennifer Schultz and I will be your student's music teacher this year at Fall Creek Intermediate. I look forward to a fun, exciting time this year in music class. Hi, I'm John Bratton. I'm one of the physical education teachers here at Fall Creek Intermediate School and I'm looking forward to having your son or daughter here in PE. Hello, I am Mr. Sims. I am one of the PE teachers here at Fall Creek Intermediate. Um, I'm excited to have your son or daughter in class. Uh, go Falcons! Hello, I'm Mr. Sergi. I'll be teaching your son or daughter art this year. I'm looking forward to a great year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Saunders, and I'm one of the art teachers here at Fall Creek Intermediate, and I'm looking forward to a great year. Hi, I'm Terry Zabonik, and I'm a specialist. Hi, I'm Carol Gum. I'm the school nurse. Please call me if you ever need anything for your child. Understanding assessments and grading. This will allow us to have a common language to ensure student success. Let's take a look at a sports analogy to start off. At the end of a season, coaches report on the best performance and mastery of their athletes. Our teachers are academic coaches reporting the best performance and mastery of their students. To report that mastery, teachers will use two forms of assessment. Formative assessment for learning and summative assessment of learning. The purpose of these two assessments are slightly different. Formative assessments provide students and teachers with feedback on level of understanding as well as data used to improve instruction. While summative assessment is used to measure the mastery of presented concepts based on state standards. They are also reported out as grades at the end of a quarter. Formative assessments are administered ongoing throughout a unit of study. While summative assessments generally are at the end of a unit. Once teachers have determined preparedness of students to demonstrate the acceptable level of mastery. Students use both formative and summative results to reflect. Formative to self-monitor their understanding and seek assistance when necessary. Summative assessments allows the students to demonstrate a level of understanding of the content area material they've been studying. Teachers use the formative results similarly to students to check for understanding, but also to adjust instruction for individuals and whole class. 
Summatively, they determine mastery level and potentially reteaching possibilities if mastery of a minimum of a C- minus is not obtained. If a level of mastery is not met, the teacher will work with the student to remediate and reteach that portion of the concept not mastered. This will include teacher-student small group work, as well as student independent practice to ensure readiness for reassessment of the specific content that was not mastered. Teachers use a wide variety of assessments to regularly check student understanding. This will inform them of whether or not instructional strategies, interventions, pace, etc. are successfully being utilized to ensure each student's success. Climbing the assessment ladder is a best practice for students to achieve mastery and academic success. So the formative pieces put into place ultimately will give us the opportunity to get an accurate summative assessment result, knowing whether a student has mastered content or not. The majority of each student's grade, 90 to 100 percent, will be based on summative assessments. Mastery level will be reported. Personal behavior and work habits will be reported in a separate section of the report card and not figured into a student's grade. So be in the know. Be sure that you are aware of how to log into Skyward and to Blackboard. These two locations are where your child's formative and summative assessment results will be recorded. Accessing these results often will help keep both you and your child up to date and informed on progress toward content mastery. Rick Wormelli, one of the top researchers in assessment, has a quote that we like to consider as we think about grades. Grades are first and foremost communication, nothing more. The moment we make them something more, we corrupt their constructive use. So let's build a partnership. Look for communication and stay informed. Students, parents, and teachers working together ensures student success. We are looking forward to a year full of growth for all. Created using Powtoon.